we have the Arctic wolves um, at the Toronto Zoo, and we're talking about them uh, regarding the solar eclipse because they're one of the animals that might be or potentially would be affected by uh, the changes in the light levels, particularly because of the sun being blocked um, during the solar eclipse. Animals like these, they tend to use the sun as um, a way to time their particular their day. In the case of wolves, uh, they would be a bit more um, maternal or cathemeral, um, which means that they would be sleeping um, during the day. So animals like these might be affected by the eclipse just because of the changes in the light levels, or maybe a lack of change. Um, it's very difficult to say because an eclipse is a rare event. What are you asking uh, as far as public assistance that day? So as far as uh, public assistance that day, come over to the Toronto Zoo um, the day before, the day of the eclipse and the day after, um, and learn how to observe behaviors in a systematic way. Um, so you'll be observing the animals and their activity level on certain time points and uh, as well making notes on any changes um, that you see. You actually want people to come out and, and sit and observe the animals? Then. Yes, a lot of that data would be um, reflecting on the animals' uh, use of uh, natural cues in the environment and how they cope with changes uh, with those things. So like 75 years from now, mm -hmm. Zoo staff might look back on these records we're taking now. Pretty much, yes, of course. Uh, so the zoo, zoo staff might uh, look back at it. Um, in fact, like maybe um, in a couple of years, we might look back at it and compare um, other um, astronomical events or um, other comparable events to it as well. Um, you have certain time points where you can take um, observation. Um, and yeah, uh, we will um, be here to support you fully. If you would like to help zoo staff study the animals during the solar eclipse on April 8th, you should plan to arrive here at the zoo around 11 and stay till after 4. At the Toronto Zoo, Audra Brown, City News.